Tuberculosis is a disease that claims the lives of over two million people a year. As things stand, low to middle income countries account for around 80% of all TB cases, and it's a public health crisis that's deeply rooted in inequality. Central to this is multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, or MDR-TB, a strain of the disease which doesn't respond to an initial course of antibiotic treatment. For a person with MDR-TB, existing treatment plans could run for up to two years and take a real toll. What is quite clear with MDR-TB is that uh, sometimes the, the treatment itself is, is worse than the, um, the disease. The outcomes were, were not acceptable. So, what did we do about it? We set out to establish a treatment plan which was shorter, safer, more effective, and with fewer grueling side effects. The six-month drug regimen that won out was BPAM, and it resulted in a huge reduction in symptoms and side effects. Not only is the treatment shorter, but on balance, much more bearable, going from up to 20 pills per day to around seven. What we saw was a marked improvement in terms of quality of life, the bottom line, though, is that with this new approach, MDR-TB survival rates went from 50% to 89%. But the job isn't done. Our trial has shown that shorter, safer and more effective treatment is possible. It's shown that when we work together with affected communities, trust local expertise and put people at the centre of our thinking, change can happen. For people with MDR-TB, it's given hope. The next step is getting this treatment to the people who need it most.